Today, I'll be demonstrating how to hold a video consultation with your patient using Skype's free conference call feature. I'll start by navigating to Skype.com. On this web page, you'll find the Create Your Meeting button. Click the button and you'll be taken to a free conference call web page. Click on Create a Free Meeting to generate your unique call link. Please note that anyone can access the consultation using this link, so make sure you don't share it with anyone other than your patient. You can click on Share Invites to copy the link or send it to your patient via Outlook Mail or Gmail. When you're ready to begin, you can click on Start Call or navigate to your call link. Click on Join as Guest, enter your name, and click on Join. By joining as a guest, you are effectively creating a temporary account that will expire in 24 hours. You can use the same link to hold future consultations, but you will need to re-enter your name. Again, click on Start Call. Here, you can select whether to use your webcam, microphone, or both. You may need to give Skype permission to access your webcam and or microphone. Click on Start Call. Now, let's pretend we're the patient. We'll navigate to the same link, enter our name, and click on Join. You'll notice the Start Call button is now Join Call. That's because, as the GP, I've already started the consultation. As with the Skype you already know, you can send messages. In the call, click on the red button. If you or your patient are using a mobile phone, the process is largely similar, apart from the fact that Skype first needs to be downloaded. The call link will take you to a web page where it prompts you to download Skype. Clicking on Download Skype will take you to your phone's app store. Once Skype is installed, return to the link and click on Join Conversation and then Open. From this point on, the user interface is the same as the web browser version. Anyway, that covers the basics of holding a video consultation using Skype. Thank you for your time.